Hi, it's Sharon from Stampin' with Sharon. I want to share with you a set of cards that I made today. I've made them, I need to create some cards for as thank yous to send out to my customers. And so I want to create this card that you've just seen. I want to use the pattern paper from Beauty of the Earth. Um, and so I started with some cinnamon cider cardstock and some basic black cardstock and one sheet of the 12 by 12 Beauty of the Earth pattern paper. And so I cut the basic black cardstock down to be 11 centimeters by eight and a half. And so I've cut down eight pieces of that. And then I cut down the card bases. I score them first and then I cut them in half the A5, A4 piece of cardstock. So they make A5 pieces and then I can fold them in half to make A6 cards. I cut down some more cinema cider into 10 centimeter by 14.3 centimeters. And those pieces I'm going to lay on top of the card base, um, but I'll emboss them as well. Here I am cutting down the pattern paper. The pattern paper I've cut down to 10 and a half by eight centimeters. Uh, and these will lay on top of the basic black cardstock. So I've used the whole sheet of the 12 by 12 and cut down into eight pieces. I had a few pieces of leftover, but that's okay. The, the embossing folder I'm using is the Bark 3D embossing folder, which you'll find in the annual catalogue. Um, and I've just used the stamp, uh, stamp, sorry, the stamp and cut and emboss machine to emboss it. Um, and so, the, yeah, the Bark 3D embossing folder is found on page 154 of the 20... 2021-2022 annual catalogue. I've embossed all of the card bases from the cinnamon cider and I'm just using Tombow liquid glue to stick down the embossed pieces onto the card base. And I have actually sped up the video just to make it a bit quicker so it doesn't waste too much of your time. Um, and so then I'll use um, the Tombow liquid glue to stick the pattern paper onto the piece of black cardstock. And I'll use dimensionals to pop these up and to stick them down onto the card base. All of these products are from the annual catalogue um, that's current right now. And so you can pick up any of these products from my online shop, SharonWilson.StampinUp.net and you can click on shop now and you can purchase all of these products and have them delivered straight to your door. So I'm just using dimensionals to pop these up. So I'm just using one in each corner and then one in the center just to give it a bit of stability and just to give the card a bit more interest. And then I stick them onto the front of the card base, cardstock, or front of the card. I love the embossing folder. It just gives a beautiful texture and it lends itself quite well with the Beauty of the Earth pattern paper as well. And so then I grab out a um, a die from the painted labels die set and I cut out a whole of them for, from using my stamp and cut and emboss machine in very uh, what is it basic white cardstock and then I'm using cinnamon cider ink and using the you truly inspire me sentiment from the same stamp set from the Beauty of the Earth. And I do miss stamp the, the second one that I do. And so I go back and re-stamp that so that it gives a more even, um, more even sentiment. I did, yeah, as I said, I did miss stamp that one, the second one, but I've gone back and fixed that. And I'm just using dimensionals just to pop these up. And 
And I wanted a, a landscape card rather than a portrait style card. So then the, the, this style card can be hung over the TV or over a edge or something so that you can actually see it. Um, I then grab out the Baker's Twine Essentials Pack, which is also found in the annual catalogue. You get five different colours in this pack, and I'm just going to tie some bows uh, to stick onto the front of the card. And so there's five different colours. There's uh, basic white, very vanilla, basic black, smoky slate, and crumb cake. And so these five colours are beautiful just to use on any of your projects that you have and they just add a bit of a um, bit more interest and they're really lovely to tie it's a beautiful thread to tie it's not too hard it's it's quite soft and manageable to be able to tie a beautiful bow and I'm just using glue dots to stick them onto the onto the cards as well and so I'm, thank you for taking the time to have a look at and watch this video and I hope you have been inspired to do some creating at home as well and as i said yeah all of these products can be purchased online at stampinwithsharon.com.au or sharonwilson.stampinup.net thanks for watching and i hope to hear from you soon